All right, we had a customer request concerning file size because they want to use it in AR, VR, or in our web viewer. The typical standard is you're going to want to get your triangle size down considerably. If you press H, you'll see that there's a triangle count there. And right now, it's close to 2 million triangles. And a best practice would be to get that number down to 1 million. Hopefully, you've imported NURBS into your scene, as we have right here. Um, looking again at the HUD, we've got 28,000 NURBS parts in here. So I'm going to show you one way that we can get this triangle count down as long as we're using NURBS. So I'm going to select the camera gimbal right over here. I'm going to go to Properties. And because it's still NURBS, we can use this tessellation option right here. It says Retessellate. So I'll select Retessellate. We'll give it an, a moment to uh, build the tessellation. Okay, here is our tessellation window. And you'll see that there's settings here already. Uh, those are actually the settings that were used upon import. So when we select tessellate, it's just showing us what we've already done. Up here on the top left-hand side, you can see that this model has almost 1 million uh, triangles there. And we're going to want to simplify this some. And to do that, we can decrease the tessellation quality. I'm going to take this down to 0.2. And that's just a place to start. Okay, And you can see the triangle count now is at 84,000, which is considerably better. However, we have these round parts on here, and they've got some really bad faceting. So to adjust that, I'm going to turn down the maximum edge length here and then select Tessellate again. And now we've gone from, I guess it was 84,000 to 227. Uh, and it looks a lot better, but I think we need to just really dial that down a little bit more. So again, I'm going to use the edge length because we want to get these fairly round without a lot of faceting. Um, I'm thinking this looks good. A lot of times people are forgiving when looking at a model in a real-time render. So hopefully they're okay with that. Um, the next thing, let's see if we can adjust that angle tolerance just a little bit more. Try to knock down the triangle count there, while still maintaining the edge length and the nice, nice smooth rounds there. Almost smooth. So we're down from almost 1 million to about 100,000. We have some nice triangles in here. Everything looks pretty good. I'm going to select Apply. And we can get a little test over here within our HUD, because when we select that apply button it does apply it before we even hit done or cancel within our window so we can kind of scope it out and you can see that we're down to almost 1 million polygons model looks pretty good so i'm going to say done so that's one way that we can decrease the size of our scene or the amount of triangles there so we can utilize the web view now here's another way that we can bring down the triangle count. As I mentioned a moment ago, our triangles are about 100,000 over. So I'm going to select the front of that camera right now. And this one is not a NURBS model. It's uh, polygons. So since it's a polygonal model, we can't do a retessellate, but we do have a tool known as mesh simplification you can see that right there we can also select that part right click on it go down to geometry tools and select mesh simplification from there and now you can see that uh, we have our polygonal model in here and currently the amount of triangles we have is 71,413 now it's not quite going to do it for us when we look at the triangle count, but 
just to give you an idea, let's see if we can turn it down about 25%. Select Simplify. Looking pretty good. Um, in all honesty, let's try to go a little bit lower. Excellent. Go lower. And really, I'm just paying attention to the nice rounds in there that we want to achieve without getting too faceted. I think we can go a little bit lower. I think that that's probably as low as we can go. So we've shaved off more than half. I'll select apply. And now we're only over oh, 94,000. So let's select the battery here. And let's try to retestulate on the battery. Again, it's using the numbers that we began with. And you can see here that uh, we can probably simplify this a lot, making sure that the rounds there are not too faceted. And so we want to decrease the maximum measure length. A little bit better. There we go. Select apply and done. And we almost made it. <laughs> so utilizing retessellate and mesh simplification are two ways that you can get your triangle count down to what you want.